things, let's go. That's it. Love you guys. Let's go. Gang on me, gang on three. One, two, three. Gang. The autumn wind is a pirate, blustering in from sea, with a rollicking song he sweeps along, swaggering boisterously. His face is weather-beaten, he wears a hooded sash, with a silver hat about his head, and a bristling black mustache. He growls as he storms the country, a villain big and bold, and the trees all shake and quiver and quake as he robs them of their gold. The autumn wind is a raider, pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down and laugh when he's conquered and won. The Las Vegas Raiders won a big game on Monday night. Yeah, it's early, but the game was big for the team's confidence as well as how they'd be perceived. If they lost, forget about it. Put them with the rest of the fleas. Time to tank for Caleb Williams, right? Well, since the Raiders won, there's a new hope for this season. I don't mean the Super Bowl or even the playoffs. I mean showing progress. Being better than last year. Another thing that counts big is the ability to get better from week to week. That's how you know if your program's working. The good coaches with the good teams get better as the season goes on. I'm not saying the Raiders are a good team just yet, but they are improving in a few areas, and if that continues, they can end up being a very good team by next year. I can't sit here and tell you the Raiders will be a very good team this year because of what they have at the quarterback position. I'm thoroughly disappointed by what I've seen from Jimmy Garoppolo, but I would say progress is being made in other areas. I'm hoping that improvement could somehow get Garoppolo going. Imagine if that happened. The Raider defense is now ranked number 14 in the NFL in yards and 19 in points. That's up from number 28 in yards and number 26 in points, and Max Crosby is a big part of that. The edge rusher is still a menace and still improving against the run. You can't go at him or to the other side of the formation. He had four tackles for losses on Monday night. He still puts the heat on that quarterback too as he has seven pressures. This one forcing an incompletion. Look at that closing speed. Crosby had this sack on the night too. And I'm showing you this play just to show you how bad he wants it. He wants in on anything being done on defense out there. But the improvement mainly comes from those put around him, like middle linebacker Robert Spillane. He wasn't perfect Monday night. This is what happens when you get out of your gap looking for things. But that didn't keep happening as he had nine tackles on the night. Here he's patient, scrapes, and meets the running back in the hole. Here he reads the blocking scheme quickly and gets downhill before the tight end can get to him. On this one, he's going to get rid of the center. And on this one, the receiver trying to crack on him, he really doesn't want that work. Now Spillane has always been really good against the run. It's against the pass that he's really improved. It kind of reminds me of how Crosby came into the league a good pass rusher and really improved against the run. Here he's going to run to the ball on the screen and make an open field tackle. And he's going to do it again on this one. He had some problems with missed tackles, but on Monday night he had none. But like I said before, coverage is where he's really improved. He had two interceptions on the night, and this one is just a reward for running to the ball. Now on this one, he's just reading the quarterback's eyes, but he has been a part of the Raiders improving at linebacker and coverage this year. A 
All right, let's roll this. Quarterback Jordan Love breaks contain, so free safety Marcus Epps vacates his deep coverage responsibility to go after him. And receiver Christian Watson is going to slide in right behind him and make a big play. It's a good thing the Raiders secondary doesn't give up as many big plays as they used to. The Green Bay Packers are going to try Epps again, but this time he's not running after the quarterback, so it's not going to work. Yes, after starting the season off slow, corner Marcus Peters is starting to show up. His route recognition is what got Spillane that interception. Watch him compete late to force this incompletion. And with Nate Odds and Jacorian Bennett out with injuries, the Raiders showed some depth at corner. Amik Robertson showed up big when they tried him deep. He showed up even bigger when they tried him deep to win the game late. He got up for that interception. Alright, let's show this again from the other angle. Love's gonna get out of the pocket looking to make a play. But Robertson's looking to make a play too. Look at him. He's looking back for the ball. He's actually looking back for the ball. I've been so frustrated with Raider corners over the last few years because they don't look back for the ball. All you young aspiring corners, don't be afraid to look back for the ball. Just might come down where you can catch it. And Robertson just messed around and saved the game. All right, now we go to the offense. The offensive line is still giving up too many tackles for losses. But now there are at least some decent holes and good runs to go with them. You can cite the backers being number 27 against the run, but the Buffalo Bills are number 25 and the Denver Broncos are number 32 and they shut the Raider running game down. So you just have to give the Raiders credit for their running game coming together. Look at this hole on this touchdown run. We haven't seen many holes like that this season. That's tied in Michael Mayer on Jacob's big run. Oh. That was a big interior defensive lineman Mayer was blocking, by the way. Here he has a kickout block on one of those big, nasty interior defensive linemen. Uh. Darren Waller did not want that work on those types of plays last year. Here he's blocking the big nasty again. He was really struggling with run blocking earlier, but you can see it's coming along now. Maybe that's why the running game is doing better. And of course, when the Raiders need him to stay in and pass the block, he can do that too. And it's about damn time they start using him as a receiver in the passing game. Jacoby Myers targets need to go to him. All this about he reminds you of Gronk? Okay, use him like he reminds you of Gronk. Catches like this should earn McDaniel's trust. It's really good to see a few things coming together for the Raiders. But unfortunately, Garoppolo is still holding the team back. Alright, Adams is pulled even with the DB and he's looking back at the quarterback, so throw to him. But unfortunately, he has eyes for only Jacoby Myers. He's slow, so the corner can come underneath him. The guy in the flats is drifting back, and Adams man lets him go and drives on him. So as you can see, there's no way he can get this ball in here, but all he can see is mine. So we have an interception here. Alright, let's take a look at it from the other angle. Clearly see Garoppolo's looking in Myers' direction and in Myers' direction only. I don't even want to see this one again. Alright, Garoppolo escapes the pocket, cool. And he sees a wide open mayor, so all he has to do is get it to him. But unfortunately he makes Mayor die for it and it's incomplete. Of 
course, we're happy as all get out. The Raiders got the win Monday night, and we should be. The Raiders would have definitely been put on the flea list if they lost. All the focus would have been on tanking and if the Raiders should do it or not. Well, thank goodness, integrity literally won out, and in the process of all this, the Raiders showed they're improving in a few areas they need to improve in. It's coming at a good time, too, because the Raiders have a few winnable games coming up that can get them over 500. The Raiders really need to win the games they're supposed to. That's what good teams do, right? But again, I can't say the Raiders are good yet. They might be if they had a different quarterback, though. Thank you for watching. See you next time.